Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. For today's video, I wanted to dive into the four-year cycle theory and talk to you guys about how I plan on taking profits at the end of this year. A lot of people have been asking me how I'm gonna go about taking profits, what I'm looking for when taking profits, and how exactly I'm gonna know when the right time to sell is. Today, we're gonna be diving in, answering every single one of these questions so that you guys can come ahead and have the most sound perspective on how to make the most profit for yourself this year. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And make sure you guys sign up and join the Discord server of 20,000 members and growing. Links are provided for you in the description to go ahead and sign up for that. With that being said, if you're a new guy getting into these markets and you want to understand what it takes to be more profitable, you guys can also check out my free ebook and study guide that I know is going to help you guys out tremendously because the information inside of that really saved my life when it comes to trading. So check it out. Links are provided for you in the description and it's all free. And with all that being said, guys, let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, so for today's video, I want to talk about some thoughts and perspectives that really just help answer a lot of questions that you guys have been having. A lot of people always ask me, you know, how are you going to go about taking profits? There's so many different beliefs out there of when the cycle top is going to happen. You know, most people don't actually have a plan for how they're going to trade this cycle. And today I'm going to kind of walk you guys through what I'm thinking we're at right now, where we're lining up based off of the last cycle timeframes, and really where I expect us to hit this cycle. Now, you guys already know on this channel, I talk often about the four-year cycle theory because I believe that there's no other theory that really fits crypto's long-term projection as identical as this does. There's always the argument for the lengthening cycles. And while I do understand that theory, I simply don't agree with it because I don't think that this cycle's lengthening at all. I think that this is going to be exactly the same as the last cycle because up to this point, they are 100% exactly the same. Um, and we're going to go through and actually analyze those thoughts. So, when it comes to analyzing four-year cycle theory, the most important thing to understand is what is a four-year cycle? Where, well, basically a four-year cycle is when you can measure from either the peak low to the peak low, meaning the bottom of the bear market to the bottom of the bear market, or you can measure from peak high to peak high, or the top of the bull market, top of the bull market. And each one of these measurements should be four years distance between themselves. And so let's talk about this. What this means is that let's analyze the cycle top here. So cycle top, let's say this happens December 3rd, right? Right around the 1st of December, we get that cycle top. Now, the way four-year cycle theory stacks up is theoretically, the next cycle top should be four years from this exact date here. So December 3rd, 2013. So what's four years from December 3rd, 2013? Well, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. So December 3rd, 2017. I can count to four and I can share with you guys that I know basic math, even though I'm a high school dropout. So when we apply that principle and we come to the cycle top, we draw a line, we're going to see that this is almost identical, right? So this is coming up at about January 4th. So this is about four years in one month difference. It's only one month off from being exactly the same time frame as the cycle top. And so we can see that this is four years. And isn't it crazy how the cycle top was the almost exactly four years to the next cycle top? And these are the things that I try and help people understand. I mean, at the end of the day, the reason I don't look at price so much is because the time frames are way more accurate. I can exit based off of the time frames and I'm going to maximize my profit potential way more than the person that's trying to target exact price. I think price is obsolete. Price is a flawed metric, especially with all the money they're printing recently. I don't think it's trustworthy, but what are trustworthy are cycles. Cycle time frames line up with a number of things. They can be moon cycles. They could be cycles uh, between um, institutional investors, between tax season. All of this type of stuff are parameters that fit into cycles. And these cycles top and bottom around the exact same points in time. So this is one way to analyze for your cycle theory. You can measure from peak high to peak high, or this is the other way to do it. You guys can measure from peak low to peak low. In, in both situations, it should equal four years distance. So in this case, let's come over here and let's analyze the cycle bottom. In this case, this happens January 3rd of 2015. That was where we saw Bitcoin's cycle low. Now, if we come four years in advance, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. So four years in advance should be the cycle low of the next cycle, 
January 13th, 2019. That's going to be four years. So if we come over here and analyze the bottom, you know, a month off once again. So just the same how these two are four years and one month difference. The bottom to bottom is four years and one month difference. And so this is the really the way that we analyze these four year cycles. We can see that from peak high to peak low to peak high to peak low, they're both going to equal four years in distance. And so when we understand this principle, this gives us an outlook into the future. How can we maximize our profit potential? How can we apply these same patterns to the long term trend and see where we're going to top? Well, we just simply keep the same pattern going. In this case, we don't have a reference point because we're in price discovery. So we're going to look at what the time frame was. What was the time frame at the cycle top? Well, we're looking at around the 1st of January 2018. Well, that's going to be taking us to the very beginning of 2022. So let's go right here about the third or fourth or whatever. That's going to be taking us to the very beginning of 2022 or what the thing I've always called for the end of 2021. I expect the end of this year to be the cycle top. And the reason why is because we're simply following the exact same time frames of both cycles. This cycle followed the four-year cycle, and then this one's following the same four-year cycle. And it's pretty obvious to tell what is going on. Now, when we apply this same principle, you know, where we're at today, we're sitting here at April the 26th of 2021. So if we go back four years in the last cycle, that's going to be about right here, where this black line is. And let's make it red so we can tell where we're at. And where we were at in the last cycle, this red line was the very beginning of the mania phase. And if we drop it to a regular time scale in here, I'll show you guys what I mean. So right here, we can see that this entire period of time was us uptrending, right? This was us just consistently uptrending on this trend line. And it was really at this point here in this red line where we hit a new paradigm and this is where things went literal vertical just straight up type of price action that was the beginning of the mania phase and so when we apply the same principle and we can see that april the end of april of the last cycle exactly four years ago was the very beginning of this mania phase so where we're at today is the exact same time frame as where we are were in the last cycle right when we started that mania phase so with that being said Let's kind of take this chart here and let's take it up to the cycle top and let's place it right here. And you guys are going to come to notice that we're pretty much following the exact same time frames. And when we apply this chart, we can see that we're going to get a cycle top at the very beginning of 2022 or the end of 2021. We can see that this is literally following the exact same time frames of that last cycle. And so when we look at this, guys, it's important to understand that if we know where our cycle top is, it's also important to understand when is our cycle low going to play in. And this is why I think four-year cycle theory is so important, because historically, bear, Bitcoin bear markets last about a year. So we can see here, this is about the very beginning of December. And then we can see that a year in advance would be taking us to the very end of December again. We could see that cycle high to cycle low, this was almost exactly one year in length. And this same bear market that we just went through is the exact same way again. We can see that we topped here at about the very first of January 2018. So a year in advance is going to be taking us to the very first of 2019. So in this case, we come over here, we can see that this is almost the exact cycle low. The thing is, guys, these time frames are way more identical, and that's why I like to follow them. Historically, Bitcoin bear markets last one year in duration. So with that being said, we know that we got our cycle low here at the exact time frame of about January or about December 12th, 2018. So four years in advance is going to be taking us to to the very end of 2022. So in this case, we don't even have a real price history to go off of. So we're just going to take this recent bear market and we're just going to overlay it here. And we're going to get something along the lines of this, right? It'll look something like this. My guess is we see Bitcoin top anywhere from about, my guess is we see the total market cap top out anywhere from about 20 to $50 trillion. I think that that's definitely realistic considering how much money is going to be flooding into these cryptos. And we're going to end up just following these exact same patterns once again. And we can see this, that the time frames are identical. You simply can't ignore the time frames. Every time frame is almost the exact same as the last cycle. I mean, the distance that it took us to go from the all-time high um, all the way to the breakout of that all-time high, I'm willing to bet is almost the exact same period of time. So in this case, we get our breakout of the cycle high about here. So about 1,100 days from the peak of the high to the point in which we broke out of that peak once again. And we can see that it was about the exact same period of time here, a little over 1,100 days. 
in which we are following these exact time frames from high to the breakout of that cycle high is a little over 1100 days. We apply the same method to this cycle from high to the breakout of that high again, a little, little tiny bit less than 1100 days, almost the exact same time frames. And so when people try and argue that the cycles are lengthening, it's not true. If the cycles were lengthening, we would probably still be in this basing formation. We wouldn't be going parabolic right now. Um, and there's the, there's the people that say, oh, well, we'll just keep going parabolic and it'll be going up forever. And these are the same idiots that ended up never taking profits in the last cycle. There's a lot of people that I see changing their trading plans. A lot of people are planning to actually sell all of their crypto this summer. They think that we're right now at the cycle top when honestly we're not. What we're going to go through is this type of a, a period where we go very vertical. We might get a strong shakeout, maybe 40, 50% plus. But I still think that we're going to get a one more big parabolic move to close out this year. And so I'm thinking a summer sell-off. After that summer sell-off, we're going to end up moving um, into a good buying opportunity for the alts. They're going to kind of finish their formations. And then we're going to get one more expansion to close out the year. And really, guys, it's just following the same type of time frames. This is why I'm going to sell at the end of the year. Um, I wanted to give you guys this update just to kind of map out my thoughts, share with you guys how identical these time frames really are to each other. This cycle is no different than the last cycle. There's no reason to think that they're going to magically appear different. There's no reason to think it's just going to magically start pumping two extra years, even though it's never once done that before. Ignore all of the FUD, guys. The time frames don't lie. They're sitting here looking at you right in the face. And that's why I'm not selling off price, but time frames instead. Anyways, guys, now that we're wrapping up this video, thank you all so much for tuning in. I also wanted to mention that if you guys want to reserve your spot to my live training, there's going to be a link in the description to go ahead and do so. That live training is going to talk about these four-year cycles. We're going to talk more about taking profits. We're going to explain things a little bit deep. We're going to explain things a lot of you guys have questions about. So you guys definitely want to tune in for that. I'm going to give you guys a ton of value up front. You guys are definitely going to want to tune in for that just to get an idea and perspective on how to actually go about taking profits in these markets. Now, with that being said, guys, it's a capped supply. There's only a certain amount of people that are actually going to be able to participate. So you guys want to make sure you get on that waiting list. Hurry today and sign up for that. At the very end, for the people that wait all the way through, there's actually going to be the biggest discount that I ever offer in this Discord on my private group. So if you guys want to get access to that, plus the new beginner course that I've actually been in the process of building, you guys are definitely going to want to check out that. Links are provided for you in the description to go ahead and sign up. With that being said, there's also links to sign up for the Discord or download the free ebook that won't cost you anything. All of that stuff's at your disposal. Use it. Great resources. Not going to cost you anything, but I know it can make the world of difference inside of your trading plans. Go ahead, check that out. So go ahead, check that stuff out. And with all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.